Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here and in this video I want to talk to you guys about an amazing update which has actually finally been leaked. So in this one we have a ton of information of leaked things that will be coming out in Fortnite here very very shortly and a quick look at what is actually going to be getting started in 2020. So it looks like Epic Games has some pretty insane plans in store for us here in the next year of Fortnite and a lot of it has already kind of leaked here a little bit so I want to get into it and talk to you guys about exactly everything that's going on. So as you guys have probably known, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you've been watching some of the other videos, there is a chance of another Battle Pass coming out. I was talking about this a lot lately because there's been challenges that are pretty much done. Like we finished up the Battle Pass a week ago and the season will not be ending all the way up until February. So we have two months now that we actually have no challenges to do, nothing to complete. And that's why everyone has been anticipating this update so much because there has not been a single thing added to Fortnite since Halloween. And that's a very, very long time. Normally, we're used to seeing updates every single week, if not every other week. And we haven't had any live events, anything like that to even keep the game really relevant at this time. And that's why you might have actually seen some people starting to play other games at the time. But luckily, we do have this giant update, 11.30, which we've been hyping up for a while now. There's been so much speculated about this update. And now that the update's finally here, we are able to get into the files and check out exactly what has been changed. Now, keep in mind, guys, the update is actually not live yet at the time of making this video, but we have some insane leaks about some of the upcoming cosmetic items. And with these leaks, we actually have a look at a new battle pass. So I've, as I've been saying in the past few days, in the past couple of videos, there was a good chance at a holiday battle pass coming out. And now it looks like we have something even bigger than that because we now are going to be getting an annual pass. So just like some other games may have, like, you know, if you've played Destiny, maybe if you played Call of Duty, they used to have season passes, but recently with the new Modern Warfare actually eliminated the season pass. But basically what a season pass is, is it's you buy all four of the DLCs all at once. So basically there will be four DLCs that comes out, one for each quarter or one for each season. And then once the season is over, if you have that entire annual pass, you will get the entire year's worth of DLC at a discount. Now, this doesn't mean if you don't buy the annual pass that you won't be able to still access the DLC. It's just that you're going to end up having to pay more money. So the people that actually want to basically get a yearly subscription to Fortnite from the beginning will get all of these stuff at a discount. But keep in mind, guys, this is all just speculated right now. We don't know exactly what's going on, but this is what happens to be leaked right now due to the fact that these text files were found in Fortnite. So these text files basically say that there is an annual pass coming and we also have a date of 2020. So this will most likely be coming out next month after the Christmas event ends. Now you'll also see another string of text that says you've been refunded 7,800 V-Bucks for a second purchase of the annual pass. Now I'm not really sure exactly what this means or why the 7,800 is there. I got to thinking maybe the 7,800 is going to be the price of the annual pass, which is actually quite expensive. You think about $80 worth of V-Bucks for the season pass, that is kind of high. And if you divide that number by four, you're going to get about $19.50, meaning that you're spending about $20 per season. So I'm really not sure if that is going to be the price or anything like that, because if you remember, the Battle Pass is usually, usually only cost about $950 V-Bucks. So I really don't know why that $7,800 is there right now. But with all the other leaks and all the other information that we have, I actually can show you guys some of the skins which will most likely be included in this annual pass. Now, if they're not in the annual pass, they will definitely be getting released in the item shop sometime soon. And there's some incredibly nice skins that I'm honestly pretty hyped to get. And I haven't been hyped for skins in quite a while. So here's a quick look at some of the skins that are going to be coming out very soon. Now, again, we don't know if this is going to be part of the first season of the annual pass or if some of these will maybe be included in the item shop. But keep in mind, these will definitely, definitely be coming out very, very soon. Now, as of the time of making this video, the servers are not live yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this video out for you guys. I wanted to let you guys know that there is a good chance that an annual pass is coming. And that's why that screenshot is there, actually, because if you see the battle stars above, that actually does have to do with the battle pass. We don't usually just see battle stars hanging around anywhere unless you're talking about a battle pass or, in this case, the new annual pass. But here's a quick look at all of the amazing new skins that will be coming very, very soon. Quite frankly, I hope these are in the annual pass because I do not want to have to buy all of those skins individually. And I do like just about every single one of those skins there. So keep in mind, guys, there are a few more updates that are going to be coming out. We have confirmation that the snow map is going to be coming back. We don't know exactly how long that's going to be here. Last year, they only had the snow map out for Christmas Day only. But you have to keep in mind, guys, that there was actually like half of the map that was snow at that time. And now in this new map, there's barely any snow on it at all, except for maybe at those mountaintops. So I'm hoping that maybe they bring the snow map back for about two weeks or so. And we're going to find out very, very soon once this update does go live. But until then, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. I tried to pack as much information in here as I possibly could. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like down below and stay tuned because I will be uploading a bunch today. 
letting you guys know everything that happens on Fortnite. And even if some challenges drop, anything that goes on, I will be sure to let you guys know. So take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.